I am Greta. Um, I am a new member of Resurrection Presbyterian. I am currently um, a student at UW-Madison and very involved in RUF. I'm a sophomore pursuing English. Matt asked me to share a resurrection story. Um, I've recently joined the church through proclamation of faith, so it feels very fitting to be sharing this right now. So yeah, um, this is my story. Um, I was baptized as an infant, and my family went to church regularly until I was about six, and then we just kind of stopped going for no particular reason. It just kind of stopped, and we walked away, and while we did try to kind of go back a few different times, it was really just holidays. We were definitely priesters, um, and, but it was something that I still couldn't stop thinking about. Um, in middle school, I kind of started questioning religion, you know, learning about other people's religions and I was in a very it felt like a very secularized environment you know between school and home and the different extracurriculars I was in I wasn't encountering Christianity a lot but it was something that was still always in the forefront of my mind and something I couldn't like get away from so I decided my junior year of high school to just start going to church by myself and I really thought that I was I was a Christian for sure, um, but it wasn't until I joined RUF last year, my freshman year of college, um, I was actually at the University of Minnesota for that, that I started to understand what Christianity really entails and I realized I am not a Christian yet, or at least I may be on the path, but I'm definitely not where I'm supposed to be um, at the moment. So I've just... I just kept learning, kept going. It was the first Bible study I'd ever been in and I absolutely loved it. I learned a lot about myself and a lot about people um, through it. And then this year was kind of like the big turning point, I guess. Um, it was at large group early fall semester and Danny, campus minister, was talking about um, specifically anxiety, which is something that I personally deal with. Um, and I asked him about how to involve God in like therapy or medication. And he said that God is actually already involved and that we shouldn't um, look at the world in a secularized way. And for the first time ever, it really hit me just how much, or just like the fact that God has given me literally everything. And I know that's a pretty obvious fact, but like, he even put the chemicals together to create anxiety meds to help people with anxiety. And that realization was just absolutely huge for me. Um, so I decided that night that I was sick of bouncing back and forth. God has given me everything. I've kept coming back to him. No matter how far he, I've strayed, he's pulled me back. So I decided to just stop doubting. Um... And sometimes that's really difficult, you know, but Jesus has become my ultimate truth, um, regardless of how scary or theologically confusing that can sometimes be. Um, ultimately, I've never felt more at peace with myself or in life. Um, and I was really happy that this is called a resurrection story, specifically because God really truly pulled me out of a very dark, dark place, um, which I didn't realize just how lost I was until, or I guess hindsight is twenty twenty, you know? Um, so yeah, that's my resurrection story. I realized that the world is not a secular place. Um, I decided to ignore my doubts and now here we are and I'm a member of Res Pres and I couldn't be more happy.